Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to give you guys a real quick, helpful tip on something that I don't know for sure that it works, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to give you guys a little quick scenario of what happened. So basically, this right here, Wi-Fi Analyzer. Go ahead and download that, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use that for, and I haven't tried it yet, but actually, I tried it um, on my last gig. But I didn't really use it because I was pretty good. I was a, I was on a good channel. And basically what this does is check and see what channels are available for you to use. So I'm going to give you an, uh, an example, a scenario. So let's bring this over here. And right now my uh, DMX Go is connected right here. So if you come over here. And if I look for my DMX Go, my Smart DMX, it says it's connected on channel 11. Okay? So basically right here what this is telling me is channel 11 is minus this one, this purple one. My DMX Go, you see that? I'm by myself on that channel. So I'm good to go right now. But let's say I went to, um, I did a party. I want to test, I want to test and see what um, channels are available because maybe channel channel eleven is, is is has a lot of traffic, a lot of a lot in, a lot of interference, and I want to show you guys something real quick. Let me see. Let me tell you what happened. So basically, I did a gig, right? Here goes a gig I did. Um, I'm gonna turn the the sound down so you guys won't hear. But let's say I did this gig right here, and my lights was was going berserk. It never happened before, but it was going crazy. I, I didn't have no control with my uh, DMX Go. And I did everything. I uh, reset it. After a while, I gave up because there was a they were losing connection. Like once one light will be okay, and the light would just go berserk. You know. Let me show you something real quick. I'm gonna pause it right here. Ah, I went too fast. Let's do it again. Let me back it up. I'm gonna pause it right here. No, no, no. Right here. So if you see right here, that's the bottom of my speaker. I had a light uh, wedge under my speaker, and you see it flash, and it's supposed to be green. It was a St. Patrick's Day gig I did, and I wanted to make all the lights green. At first, that wasn't my plan. My plan was to change them, you know, let them let the DMX control it, and but it wasn't doing that. So my 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 backup plan was forget the plan. My DMX is acting weird. Change them all green, and in order for me to change them all green, I had to get my remote control and go to each light. Which I didn't do that. I just changed it. I changed my uh, best part sixty green. That's was shining on the dance floor. My best part sixty. So I made all those green manually. Changed them all green. I wasn't using my DMX Go. But check out the lights in the background. Check this out. Right there. This light right here, where the mouse is at, it lost connection. This light is flashing crazy. That one's flashing crazy. See the way they're going crazy? Look at the one right there. Stop. This one here lost connection. This one looks like it lost connection. Hold on. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to see if it lost connection. This one's acting weird. It's like a strobe light. Let me hit play. See that? It was just all over the place. And I got frustrated. So I went home and I started thinking about an idea. I said, you know what? Let me... Figure out how I could fix this problem. So the only solution I thought of is downloading this app's Wi-Fi analyzer. And it's going to check and see what channels are available. Okay. So I'm going to unplug my DMX Go and I'm going to show you something. But for right now I'm on channel 11. I'm on DMX Go. So I'm going to unplug this bad boy. I'm going to show you something. So let's say I get to a party. Right. I'm going to wait until this clears up. So let's say I get to a party. And before I connect my my uh, my DMX Go, I want to scan and see what channels are available. Which one's a which one's a good channel? Okay, right now it's still showing my DMX Go. It's gonna take a while for it to erase. Let me see. Smart DMX is still showing. Just give it a few seconds. It's gonna go away. I don't know how long it takes for it to update. So while that's doing that. Uh, let me explain something. Before you could do this right here, you could change the channel so your DMX go. But, but before you do that, 
you need to uh, download the software and you need to go to my DMA Go American DJ and just go to this site and then from here it's going to take you to the site and scroll down a little bit and click on downloads you click on download and then from there if you have a PC you're going to need um, the firmware PC with firmware and you're going to need the drivers Windows drivers you need those two but if you have an Apple computer or Apple uh, tablet or whatever you need this one only but for me since I have a PC I need two I need to download the driver and I need to download the firmware so I did that and now the, what, what I need to do is connect my my USB to this unit and I have total control of it and I could change the channels so now let's go back to this so it's not showing no more my DMX go is cleared so let's say I get to a party right I mean not a party a house and I want to see what channels are available right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on these three stars up here and right here is kind of since this is, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is a new AP and if AP it stands for let me see if I remember access point I believe I believe AP stands for access point uh hold on yeah AP stands for access point right here it says access point so I want to see what access point which ones are available and it says right here the best channel for a new AP, because I'm going to consider this a new AP. I'm showing up to a new place, a new uh, uh, house, right? I want to see which ones are a good channel. And it says channel 4, 8, 9, and 10 are the best. Connected to any of these right here, and you're, you should be good, right? So I'm going to change mine to channel 4, okay? And to do that, like I said, go on here. Download the, the 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 software and download the driver if you have a PC. If not, just download the other one. So I'm gonna go to my folder, um, my download folder, right here. Download, and this is my driver. Here goes the software. So I just click on this. Oh, actually, I gotta plug it up. So this one right here is plugged up to it. It is connected to my computer. I'm going to plug up to it, to the unit. And right now, like I said, it's on channel 11. I'm going to change it to channel 4. So I'm plugged up to the unit. Come back over here, and you're going to double click on this. And I'm looking for this right here where it says soft hardware manager. Double click on that. And it's going to open up this right here. And this right here is my DMX Go. And a lot of people are having trouble connected to the DMX Go. And I read a lot of comments that you need to update the firmware. I already did mine. Mine is all good. Actually, it was all good from the beginning. But if you're having trouble connecting to your my DMX Go, go ahead and download the firmware. Okay, so now you click on here too if you want to see what was the latest uh, firmware um, rev win. So this one right here. It's going to tell me the firmware. Like this one right here is <clears throat> S1UD110A. So I come over here, S, uh, S1, I don't know if it's an I or a 1. S1UD, this one right here, here goes mine. So this one right here is telling me the Rev.24 is the latest and greatest. Right, so now you come over here and you double click on this. Oops, let's close this one right here. And then you could double click on this. And it's gonna pop open. And then from here you go to the firmware. And mine is point twenty four, which is the latest and greatest. So I don't need to update it. But if you did, just click on this. And that's all. But anyway, let's go to the channels. I wanna go to the Wi-Fi channels. So right now I'm on channel 11. I wanna go to channel 4. So you click on this, where it says Wi-Fi, and then you're going to come over here to access point. So remember, that's the AP right here, the new AP access point. I want to change mine to number four. Here goes channel 11, and I want to drop it to uh, channel four. 
when I click on channel four, go ahead and click on this store. So basically, I'm gonna basically I changed mine to channel four now, and then from here you could go ahead and exit out, right click, and close. Okay, so I'm done with this right here. I'm on channel four, so now I could disconnect this USB from my computer and disconnect it to my computer. I could disconnect it, and then I'll connect it back the way I had it, you know, with the power and all that. This is the power. So now, I got the power hooked up, and give it a few seconds. This is gonna refresh, it's gonna refresh, and it's gonna show that it's on channel four now. So right now it's showing 11. It's gonna switch over to channel four. So, see, it went away now. It went away. Oh, there it is, channel 4. Right there, my DMX. Now it's on channel 4. So if I would have went to a house, um, I would have scanned it and see what channels are available and see which ones are good and which ones are being used. So right here, channel 4, um, we're good to go. So if you come over here to this one right here, it's going to tell me what channel, channel I'm on. So right here, my DMX... Smart DMX is on channel, right there, you see it right there? Channel four. So I went ahead and switched it over to channel four. So that's just a good scenario. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that next time when I do a gig. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on channel 11, so when I get to a party, I'm gonna scan my um, Wi-Fi analyzers apps, scan it, and if my channel 11 look like it's kind of too much traffic, too much interference, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and see which ones are, are, are available. And I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to click on new AP access point. And I'm going to see which one they recommend. So right here, now they don't recommend channel 4 because I'm using that. So they recommend channel 8, 9, 10, and 11. 11 was the one I had earlier. See? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty slick. Like I said, I'm not sure if this works, but I'm going to try it. So, yeah, go ahead and go to the App Store if you want to try this. Go to the App Store, download, um, what, what is it called? It's called, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, Wi-Fi Analyzer. And it has like a little antenna. Go ahead and download that puppy. It's free apps. And it's pretty good because it shows you the channels right here, which ones are available, which ones are being used. Uh, it shows this right here, and it shows that you're, like, I don't know if that's a signal, but look at that. Man, it's way up there. You know what I mean? Uh, this one right here also shows the, the data. It's going to come in, and after a while, it's going to start showing like a wave is coming in right now. So it shows you a lot of stuff. It's pretty good. I like it. I haven't, like I said, I tried it this weekend, but I was on a good channel, so I didn't, I didn't bother in switching it over. So again, download that apps. Go ahead and go to my DMX. Uh, my DMX. Um, go to the website and download the two. If you have a Windows, download the two, the drivers and the software. If you have Apple, just go ahead and download that one. And then it's gonna be in here, like I said, in the hardware manager. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to channel 11. Um, like I said, if you want me to show you again, uh, right now it's hooked up to the power, so I unplug the power. And this one is hooked up to my computer. See, it's connected to my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and connect this to my com to my uh, DMX scope. And I also recommend using um, buying these uh, down uh, magnetic uh, USB connectors connections. I love it. I recommend you go ahead and doing that. I mean, I love that puppy. And then from there, go ahead and click on this. Open that up. And then there it is. Double click on this. And there it is. That's all you have to do. And then from there you go to Wi-Fi. And then click on uh, access point And switch this back over to not number 11. That's where it was at in the beginning. And then hit store. I hit it twice. You can only hit it once if you want. I said you have to hit store that. And if you want to change your password, you can. 
because uh, right now the password is smartdmx000. But if you want to give it a different password, if you want to give it a different name, you can. You can call it uh, something else if you want. But I'll leave it. I'll leave it like that. I'm not gonna mess with that. And then from there, when you're done with that, just go ahead and right click on this and close it. And you're pretty much done. Close that. Exit out. And hopefully this tip helps you out. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it works for sure, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it at my next gig because actually I did try it. But like I said, I was on a good channel, so I left it alone. But if I ever get to a, a gig, a house. And I see there's so much traffic going on. Um, I'm going to come over here and look at this. If I see there's too much traffic, I'm going to just, you know, pick a different channel. I'm going to come over here to the three, the three stars and see which one they recommend. And they'll tell you what channels they kind of, they, they recommend that there's not enough uh, traffic. You know, so I like that. That's pretty good. And if you want to see what channel you're on, click on this one right here. If you forgot, and I'll tell you, right now I'm on channel 11 again. Before I switch it over to channel 4, I went back to channel 11. All right, this is your boy DJ City Minus. Hopefully this helped you out. And, uh, yeah, I had this crazy, this gig uh, on St. Patrick's Day, and it just, the lights just started going crazy. And I was like, I said, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I got tired of it. But it's funny because I know something was going on with my lights. They didn't know. They thought that was pretty cool. They like the strobes and all that. And I was like, no, it's not supposed to do that. It's not supposed to do that. But, yeah, they liked it. Oh, well. This is your boy, and I'm out. Peace.